everyone. Our lesson for today is about addition of integers. I want you to have your notebook and write the title of the topic for today, also the date. Please include also your name and your section. For our objectives for today, number one is to add integers and number two to demonstrate positivity in doing the assigned task for better output. For further discussion, how are integers added? I want you to study the following illustration. By first, we will let the white tiles to represent the positive one and the colored tiles to represent the negative one. And also, I want you to consider this zero pair. When you add a negative and a positive tile together, kapag meron silang magkapareha, it is equal to zero. O parang isipin mo na lang na kung may pera ka na one at may utang ka na negative one, may utang kang piso, pag binayaran mo yung utang mo, wala ka ng utang, Pero, wala ka na rin piso o wala ka ng pera. So, equal to zero yan. Laging ganon. So, first, for the first example, let us add positive 3 and positive 2. Eto, madali lang yan. So, we have positive 3 tiles, positive 2 tiles. Siyempre, equal siya sa positive 5. And also, kung meron ka negative 2 o meron kang utang na 2 plus utang na 1, so, Drawing natin yung tiles, we have negative 2 at saka negative 1, syempre negative 3. But how about if we are adding different signs such as this in the example, negative 3 plus positive 5. How are we going to add integers with different signs? First, we draw the tiles, 3 negative tiles and then positive 5 tiles. But earlier, remember that I told you that when a negative tile and a positive tile join or combine together, such as this in the example, if they are equal to zero. So, eto, nilagay ko dito, and eto, nilagay ko rin siya dito. Now, what happened is that they are paired, such as 1, 2, 3, they become zero pair. Ibig sabihin, zero na yung value neto, wala na to. And then, ang natira na lang natin is positive 2. Or kung iisipin natin pera, if we have a 5 peso coin and may utang tayo na 3 sa ating kaibigan, then if we have to pay them back, so pag binayaran natin, magkano na lang matitira sa atin? So, meron pa tayong 2 o meron pa tayong 2 pesos. Now, if I will have an example such as this, positive 3 plus negative 5, so na-represent natin yung positive 3 with 3 white tiles and the negative 5 with 5 colored tiles, then pag kinumbay natin ito, din rowing natin yung 5 tiles and yung 3 na tiles. Notice na may magpa-partner tayo na 0 pair na isa, dalawa, tatlo. At after nating makancel yung tatlo na equal to 0 na yan, may matitira lang tayong dalawa o 2, may negative 2 tayo or may utang tayo na 2. So, parang kung pera to, meron tayong utang na 5 piso, tapos may pera tayong 3. Pag binayaran naman natin yung utang natin, so, wala na tayong pera, pero may matitira na lang tayo na at least nabawasan na yung utang natin, naging 2 na lang. So, ganun lang kadali. Okay, at this point, without the chips or yung mga colored tiles and white tiles, I want you to study the following and give me the answer. I will be giving you two minutes to answer this one. I want you to check your own work. If your answer are the following, then I want you to write one correct or one check per item. So, it's gonna be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points for your activity for today. Congratulations! So, how are integers added? For the rule, to add integers of the same sign, we are going to add the given integers, then copy the common sign. Kukopihin mo lang kung pareho silang positive, edi eh positive yung sagot. Kung pareho silang negative, then negative ang sagot. But if the integers to be added are of different signs, example, may isang positive at saka isang negative, you are going to subtract the given. Okay? Then copy the sign of the number 
with the bigger absolute value. So, minus mo lang yung dalawa kung ano yung may mas malaking number, no? Bigger number with uh, bigger absolute value, yun yung magiging sign ng bago mong integers or bago mong sagot. Okay, let's try harder. I want you to combine positive 12, negative 5, positive 6. But first, we have to arrange them in such a way na magkakasama yung may parehong sign such as positive 12 and positive 6. So, pinag-combine natin siya and it is equal to 18. Saka na lang natin isama yung plus negative 5. Plus negative 5. Notice that they have different signs, so it ma minus natin siya when we subtract 18 and negative 5 or 5, we have 13. But since 18 has the bigger absolute value, so positive yun sign niya, kaya positive 13 ang sagot. Also, for example number 2, if we are going to add negative 6, negative 4, negative 9, negative 3, and negative 12, what will be the answer? Since all of them have all negative signs, we can all, ju we can all just add them all up. So, it is equal to negative 34. Wala na tayong problema dyan. So, just add all the ones with the negative signs. Ito na naman, number 3. Medyo mahirap na naman kasi magkakaiba yung sign. Positive 9, negative 15, positive 8, Negative 7, 21, 6, and negative 23. We are going to add them up. So, first, pag sama-samahin lahat natin, yung may positive sign. So, dahil to walang sign sa unahan, ibig sabihin siya ay positive. Positive 8, so positive 8. Positive 21, positive 21. Positive 6, yan. Pinagsama-sama natin lahat ng positive. Ngayon, pag sama-samahin naman lahat ng negative, so negative 15, negative 7, and negative 23. Ito yon. So, pag pinagsama-sama naman natin lahat to, ito ay equal sa negative 45, at ito naman ay equal sa positive 44. Now, if since they have different signs, isang positive, walang sign, kaya positive 44 yan, plus isang negative 45, kapag may pera tayo, no, babayaran natin yung utang natin, ilan na lang yung matitira sa utang natin, so it's negative 1, or mag minus lang tayo, 45 minus 44 is 1. Now, dahil yung 45 yung may bigger absolute value, no, May, may bigger absolute value, 45 yung mas malaki. So, pagkasagot natin ng 1, kukopyahin natin yung sign na negative 1 sa kanya. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Okay, for your activity number 2, I want you to write this on your notebook and also include your name and your section and the day-to-day -day as you answered this activity. And then, you are going to copy and answer and then, we will be checking this the next time we meet again. Also, this one, I will be posting this also to your messenger, but also include the answers on your notebook. And then, take a photo of your answer and send it to my messenger so that we will be able to check. And the last part for the try harder, for number 1, what is the absolute value of negative 17 plus 9? Number 2, what is the uh, what is the sum of 16 plus negative plus the absolute value of negative 21 plus 3 and so on and so forth.